Uh, it's been ages. Why don't you stop by? Uh, sorry, but I need to do something today. You're not keeping me waiting another day. Stop by. I think he's blushing. Well, how can you tell Better from here? From evidence. Ugh. Something, huh? Okay. Yeah, pull it out, pull it out. Click. Okay, I think you need to move now because it's probably going to be walking that way. Probably. Sorry, but I'll promise I'll come by later. Hmm, fishy. Okay, but get behind the box. Not... Get. Da, 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 da. I'm just standing here. Idiot. Oh. I swear. Fuck off. I could swear someone's watching me. I can't shake the feeling of being watched. Every single time, all I can think about is that Michael Jackson song. Everybody. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh, come on, not another woman. Uh, hey, thanks for the other day. Oh, I had a blast. Let's do it again sometime. Anytime, just uh, give me a call. No picture, huh? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, by the way... Thank the other girl for me. Yeah, sure, will do. Talk to you later. Mm, not her either. Where is he going anyway? I got so distracted. <laughs> By literally nothing. By nothing? Yeah. I just kind of spaced out for no reason. <gasps> oh. Where is he? Ah, oh, another one. Another one? Another one. This guy, is this guy a harem protagonist or something? You know what? That might be the case. This has to be the other woman. I can't hear him. I mean, I'll explain, like, how dense he is. It's a good thing this city is just crawling of alleyways. I've got what you asked for. Oh, well, thank you. Oh boy, she'll be so surprised when she sees this. She just had him something, but what? I better get this picture. You better take me. It wasn't easy to come by. Oh, you're absolutely lovely. Are you going to her place now? <laughs> Got the picture. Hey, over here, camera girl. Yeah, right over here. Ah, shit! Can't take you down. Hey! Oh, fucking idiot! Here! Stupid ass hey. kids! God We're fucking! Here. Shut the fuck up! What did you want? Your autograph. Or yeah, uh, need something? No, wait, not the. Oh, that was a nice camera. Oh, I go for it. That was a nice. That was a nice camera you got there. Oh, uh, you bet you take great pictures. Hey, would you mind doing a favor for me, my girlfriend? Yeah, would you take our picture? Pretty please. Well, uh, I am in a hurry. This is our third day since dating. It's a special occasion. Third day? Uh, oh, third uh -huh. day? What? You know what? Really? When she was gloomy talking earlier, she did kind of seem a little bit like that, but that's just gonna offer it. We'd love for a pro like you to help us celebrate with a picture. I'm really in a... Oh, uh, pretty please with a sugar on top? And sprinkles on the sugar. If I help them, I'll lose sight of that guy. Oh, fine, I'll do it. But I better, better make this quick. Just one picture. All right. Yeah. Oh. 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 Shit, he's on the move. He's okay, the better move. hurry up and take it. Need to hurry. You better whip it out. Hurry. Come on. Click. All right. Here you go. Oh, uh, thank you so much. This has really made our day. Best third day anniversary ever. It's great. Can't you just feel the love oozy woozing out from it? Shut no. Sure can. Later. Okay, come on. Let's get to the house. Jesus Christ. If, any, if this goes anything like any typical high school relationship, they're probably going to break up in the next week or two. I think it went down these stairs. I give it a week. I give it 11 minutes. It couldn't have gone far. This could be the meeting with the goddess from the prophecy. Yep, that's the that's what I thought. That was the only one of those prophecies I got. 
It probably is right. It should be around here. Over there. Whoa, uh oh. Must have arranged to meet her there. You bad touch, bad touch. Stranger danger. I wonder if that's a certain hotel. Oh, they went inside. I've got to see what's happening. You know, for research. I mean, for investigation. Or... Yeah, I, I know, I know a type of hotel you're referring to, and I'm pretty sure Plasian would have here. stuff like that if they did. Pretty sure it was implied in the first game. Can't hear anything. I mean, it went up to the yeah. second floor. Oh wait, I think I know what this is all about. I think I can hear them. I just couldn't wait any longer. I want to finish what we started. Well then, let's do it. Oh no, do it. oh no, do this what? is YouTube! I brought what you said I needed last time. My friend had one to spare. <laughs> well, hurry up, break it out. You're gonna get oh, us to monetize, wonderful. bitch! It fits wonderfully. What fits? So, have you decided? Oh no! You're really going to tell her? Yeah, I'll go straight there after we're done. He's gonna break up with her. Huh? This is absolute proof that he's being unfaithful. Oh, think how much that woman cared about him. Oh, is he planning on dumping her? Maybe this is the secret thought in the Pandora's prophecy. Oh, yeah. That poor, poor woman. It's time for you to pay, cheater. He's having premarital fun times! But oh, switch to Jupiter style and kick his Oh oh wait, never mind, we just finish it. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. More property oh my god. damage. Oh <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, we couldn't afford that scene, so I'm just gonna kidnap you. <laughs> what do you want? I want you to apologize for what you're doing. Oh, wait, you're the girl's baby back at the Ferris wheel! Don't play dumb, cheater. You trampled all over your girlfriend's fair heart. What are you going to do about it? Trample? What are you talking about? I call you red-handed. You can't lie your way out of this. I'm taking you back to your girlfriend. She can decide what to do with you. Put me down! I'm too cool to die! But you ain't cool. I didn't do anything! You gotta believe me! Please! I would never cheat on her! I've always been so faithful! This is gonna be a fun result in the end. I do it. Now, beg for her forgiveness. You were cheating on me! I knew it! Uh, it's all a mistake. Just, just let me explain. Here, look. A ring? I asked a friend to introduce me and I'd do an engraver and had it made custom for you. I got a lot of help finding the right materials and everything. All to make a one-of-a-kind ring. So I could propose. Bonjour. I pledge my undying love to you. Will you marry me? Oh. Uh, I don't. See me? Yes! Of course I'll marry you! Oh, no. I love you and only you! Okay, this isn't quite how I saw this turning out. <laughs> but, all's what it ends well. Huh? Oh, what? Oh, you can voice her. Come out here, you criminal. You destroyed my store. Seriously? I'm sorry. I'll, happy, uh, I'll be happy to pay for the damages my employee caused. Huh. All right. I guess I can forget this whole thing happened. Oh, everybody. Thanks, Aki. You're a great boss, standing up for me like that. Cop? Of course, you understand the damages are coming out of your pay. Some people found their happy ending, but I wasn't so lucky. My entire paycheck was lost covering the damages. Huh. Well, another free job. Well done. Still no pay. Hey, level up. 
Oh, neat. Le oh, I unlocked a leather floor mat. Oh, hey, we. At least we got some for some actual decorations in. For yeah. Your room. Let's see what is. This now up? then, <laughs> yeah, let's. Oh, nothing else here. Let's try Venda Center. Or. Uh, oh, hey, it's something over in. And Destria, but yeah, let's just see if Venda Center has anything real quick. You always call me for jumping the gun. But mm. I like to do yeah. my research. And then jump well, the gun. Uh, oh. Bum, 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 bum. Of course. Then, of course, we didn't unlock any pipes, so... I don't have to fly my way there. Looter style! But wait, what... But can't you at least check the map on Venda Center? I could. Uh, you probably should. It doesn't take that long. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll do it when we land. Yeah, I guess I'll fly. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, gems actually collect. Gems. The factory district. Industria. All right. That's what we got over in y'all. There we go. Oh yeah, just a, just a couple things. Oh few things. wait, wait, no, that two actually. Yeah, they're all clumped together here. That's annoying. Yeah, but first let's just take care of the one here. Yeah. Oosh. Or maybe just collect some gems. Yeah. First. Gems. Yeah, man. So the, also. Uh, I'll go for it. Um. No, no, you first, you first. Nah, I was gonna talk about more about fucking, uh, King and Black. That shit was pretty cool. Lots of Venoms. Uh, Although I'm, like, kind of, like, a little disappointed, they didn't bring back or talk about that other, like, Venom event some years back, where literally everybody became a Venom. Oh, right. Due to the other realities, Venoms. Like, I'm talking to everybody. Luke Cage, Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man. It, matter of fact... Oh, hey, look, someone to talk to. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think Iron Man, I don't know, I think he might got a new Venom suit out of the actual King of Black storyline. Where was that guy? I mean, who hasn't the Venom, who hasn't the Venom symbiote bonded with at this point? That's actually a good question, because I'm pretty sure the Guardians even bond, yeah, they actually did bond with it. Back when uh, Flash Thompson as Agent Venom was like adventuring okay. in space with them. Freedom alone. Uh, oh, you want me to uh, voice him? Go ahead. Uh, I'm a loner. I live my life all the way the way I want, and here's where I end up. I'd rather live like this than live under those machines. Well, there are a lot of suspicious characters making their home in Industria nowadays. Oh, yeah. I do my best to stay out of sight when I hear them coming. I know it's a hassle, but why don't you just register for a citizen code? <laughs> oh well. You know. Yeah, there's not really much to talk about her. That's my usual bullshit of like anime and YouTubers. Although yeah, same there, for me. There is like one thing I did find, which was there's this there was this YouTube channel. I forget the name of it, but I can just pull up the video right here, where it's it's uh so Subaru had been playing uh, Devil May Cry 2. Oh, there it is. I mean, 3. All right, I should look for that. Th okay, 3. And somebody had just decided to just subtitle all the moments, all the cutscenes, and her reactions to it. So it is basically literally Devil May Cry 3, the movie of just nothing but cutscenes, and Subaru reacting to just all of it. And it's pretty great. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. Wait, what was her reaction to easy mode is now available? Did she go all, oh my! Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did. Uh, <laughs> I also forget oh, speaking how much Pecora loves Battle Gear. Uh, oh, does she? Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, that series, she played, I mean, that series uh, is full of... Well, one of the ones that she actually played was like Metal Gear 4, and I completely forgotten that she had played that all together, because that was like some... Uh, not early stuff, but some of the early stuff that I found, anyway. Oh, hey, look, another Ben hole oh, over I there. See it. But yeah, that series is full of war crimes, so she'd definitely be at home there. Of course. And, uh, she definitely fell for Raven in 4. For, for Raiden. <laughs> oh, Raiden, yes. okay. Raiden, Raiden, Rudin, oh. Robin. What? Well, wait until she plays Revengeance. I know, right? I kinda want, or I kinda wanna see her play that. It's so fucking fun. Oh yeah, me too. 
And then there was a. Uh, like everybody is starting to get on the uh, the Henry Stickman okay. game now, and that's pretty great. Oh, yeah. Like I remember like Peek and Me's playthrough of one of the Henry Stickman games. Yeah. Like it's probably one of her probably one of her most watched streams. That and her GTA playthrough were like literally what sold me on her, as I mentioned before. But uh, yeah, it Peek and Me's would be would be the best one to watch because like she would understand like. All like the the references because like she knows English. Yeah, she can easily switch between English and Japanese. While like you have other people like Fubuki or Rabaru, like just like playing through the game and having to be told to like re uh, replay the the rifle scene where it has the 360 no scope. Uh. You don't remember that? Oh, one? and also, oh well, I haven't seen Rabaru's stream of that. I meant the 360 no scope thing. Oh, oh, that, yeah, yeah, I remember that scene. God, the MLG was, so sur was such a surreal era. Man, I didn't know that game was going on for years until, like, somebody just mentioned that it was already done. But, um, yeah, also speaking of VTubers, I've been actually watching a lot more of Vishojo recently. Vishojo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one that Iron Mouse yeah, is a part yeah. of. Which, and speaking yeah, of which, them. like, yeah, also, what... Is with Vey's accent, like Vey Bay. Mm -hmm. Have you seen her? Not much. Yeah, what? What accent is that? Is it like, like if you could just put, accent? put up a? Yeah, if you could just put up a clip of her saying literally anything right here, then uh, that will prove my point. But I've I've also been curious. Uh, it just her voice sounds so weird yet so seductive, kind of. Like, what accent do you classify that? I mean, Zen's is pretty act like. Pretty easy to discern. That's the Texas speech device, and same same thing for fruit. Hers is British. That reminds me of like that one bunny girl who has like the thick ass southern accent. I saw like clips of her with like Lumi. Bunny girlfriend? Yeah. Is that actually the same girl I'm thinking of? She's also a cosplayer. That one, yeah, with Succubus. Yeah, or well, Succubus was was uh, or was a cosplayer or at least um a not safe for work cosplayer but um i think everybody knows yeah noble certainly knows of course he's would. met them before yeah god every time he does any collabs with any youtubers like iron mouse or mel it's always such an event like whenever you go out just like whenever you go outside in puerto rico as iron mouse described because because I haven't been there, but from what I described, Puerto Rico sounds like what hell's like for introverts. No offense to Puerto Ricans, of course, but still. Like, in a place where everyone, like, whenever you go outside, everyone automatically wants to talk to you. Or make a big deal about everything, then, uh, yeah, that's, um, just good luck if you're an introvert. That just pretty much sounds like my childhood. What, like, everyone... Like being an introvert and everyone wanting to talk to you. Yep, that was pretty much my uh, my childhood. I even like went out and did shit and shit, jumping fences, to get into the pools, <laughs> and like uh, get playing arcades and yeah, just like everybody, every friends I went to, their family was like, "Hey, what's up, man?" Like just wanted to talk and shit, and I'm just like, "Dude, I'm 12. I didn't want to play like Mega Man X with my friends." Man, that game was awesome. Uh, yeah, it just certainly was. You know, I've been looking at like some of the stuff on sale at, on the uh, Nintendo eShop, and I, every time, doesn't matter where, whether on Xbox or PlayStation, whenever I see Mega Man X Collection, Legacy Collection, I'm like, this isn't all the fucking games. You guys don't have Mega Man X Command Mission. You guys are fucking lying to me. What about Mega Man X? Eight or, or no? Wait, no, no, no. I, I I was mixing it up wrong. I was mixing it up. I was thinking of just regular Mega Man Six with like the cutscenes and the terrible voice acting. Yeah, I never played any of the other X games outside of just like Base X and like maybe Four, and that was pretty much it. I think I rented one point the one with Axel where he's introduced, and then I just kind of oh, dropped the, you it. So Mega Man X. 
Oh, so Mega Man X7 then? I guess so, yeah. Where they started doing the 3D stuff and introduced Axel. Oh god, Fla <laughs> uh, Remember Flaming Hindyard? No. Well, I'm about to remind you with whatever clip is shown right here. I don't even know if I would put up a clip because I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, I'll show you later. All right. I'll show you. Man, if there was anything, I wish it would just bring back Mega Man Legends, but uh, the creator is already like kind of fucked up his reputation, especially with Mighty Number no. Nine. I mean, my God. Yeah. I mean, and wasn't. Uh, Ken, KG Inafune, wasn't, is that uh -huh. his name? I think so. Yeah, yeah wasn't, wasn't he the one responsible for, like, have, like wanting to push Capcom westward during, like, the early 2010s? See, now that's a good idea, like, back then, too. Yeah, but everything was all, like, j like too realistic, and kind, Capcom kind of lost its charm, but... Thank God 2018 came along and fixed everything for Capcom. Like, everything's been good since then for them. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, because you got games that, like, Monster Hunter World, Resident Evil 2 yeah, Remake, Devil May Cry... Yeah, Devil May Cry 5 really helped save Capcom there. Oh, yeah. Oh, coming alongside of, like, Resident Evil 2 as well. Yeah. Oh, I had such fun times with those memes for Resident Evil 2. The X that I, I bet give you it had... to you. Well, I bet the same thing for when Five came, or when Devil May Cry Five came out. Oh yeah, there, there is the. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why it was like the highest thing you had to buy, but like basically the taunts for Dante B and Vir uh, and Nero. Oh yeah, Virgil did have a taunt too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Where his, I think his cl his clone did not stand. Yeah, his, his, yeah, totally not Stan was acting for itself. Not or, Stan, not Persona. Just dancing. Yeah, it's, like, that was been a... Yeah, Devil May Cry 5 when it came out probably was probably a meme goldmine for you. Yep. Just like how, like how E3 is now, like, with its goldmine, like, with... Kazuya? Especially the sense, yeah, Kazuya being in Smash and all. I'm still getting people who are posting, like, their ironic, uh, I'm sorry who posts. And whenever somebody would do that, I just say, I'm sorry you don't play real fighting games. Enjoy your party games. Uh, <laughs> Enjoy your scrimblo bimblo. That's your lovable literally, That's literally the retorts I see on Twitter, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, words like that and popular McJRPG guy are probably slurs at this point just to describe <laughs> characters from JRPGs or classic platformers. God, that's so sad. I'm pretty sure Cat would fall under neither of them because Gravity Rush is neither a JRPG nor a traditional platformer. Not a traditional platformer, as you can platform everywhere. <laughs> right. Alright. Yep. As we follow the man meeting one woman after the other, leading to a hotel, and an even bigger misunderstanding, the couple are now engaged, ending things off after our usual gem talk. Coming up, a fear of heights and explosives. Until then, see you on the next one.